c'est ça, hein? And you see, we can go on for hours and hours and hours and hours. That's right. Everyone, welcome to another episode of What's Wrong with Wrestling. I'm Andrew Pisano, along with my brother Joe Pisano and Eric Slamilton Hamilton. This guy. You think about the most iconic moments in pro wrestling, mm. whether it's a match, whether it's a promo, whether it's a backstage segment, whether it's a return. And I've got to say, we have witnessed one of the greatest. Ooh. Wrestling moments of all time. AJ no, Styles promo on Raw? Very close. Very good. It wasn't on Monday Night Raw. Oh. It was a video uploaded to our Facebook, to Instagram, and Twitter, and it was by Joe Pisano. Was it Joey the Pison? It was Joey the Pison. <laughs> Chairman of the board and Joey the Pison. Boom. If Rock you back. have not watched this video, <laughs> please retweet it. Please retweet it. Resend it, send it to everyone, <laughs> hashtag it, do whatever you have to do. I asked Joe this, I texted Joe this morning after I watched it. I was like, Joe, will you please speak at my funeral because I am now deceased? <laughs> uh, yeah. I can't I wait so hard. I can't wait for Cody Rhodes to see him be like, is this the same motherfucker that. <laughs> <laughs> You've already got a storyline. They're in a they're yeah. in a meeting. They're like, yeah, a new one just came in. Like this guy's got a lot of energy, pretty good. And Cody's like, fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, but Wait I think he's second. winning. He's getting popular. Fuck that guy. Okay, Cody. Hey, Sean, down. you hate Cody. I hate Cody. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Right. This works out great. We should do a follow up. Why not? We'll just do one every week until they fucking pick it. Yeah. <laughs> do it. Uh, yeah, Andrew, the, the funniest part is Andrew convinced my son to take the uh, the hits and the splash. Yeah, that was so great. Record. Well, I had to film it. Yeah, I had to, yeah. you know, at my expert filming ability yes. with an yeah. iPhone. Yeah, that one arm that's like super strong and steady. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Absolutely. So strong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So strong. <laughs> so strong. That right forearm or left. Brandy. Left. Le- I'm a lefty. Left brand. Yeah. <laughs> no. Stranger left, in the tub. Left handed, Eric. <laughs> I'm left-handed, Eric. <laughs> I'm ambidextrous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, so uh, before we get to Raw... Sometimes I want to feel like it's a new woman, <laughs> and I use my other hand. <laughs> and a you different shade hand? of lipstick. You ever, what? You ever sit on your hand and yeah. wait till it's numb? Yeah, I tried that. It doesn't work. Because you're like... <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I stand on it too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're basically doing this to your penis. Ah, this isn't you're just working. Like, kind of like slapping it. <laughs> the others would be better. Everyone said it was better. I'm like what everyone talking about. I probably should just go with a woman. Jeez. You wake up, your hands broken. You're like, no. Oh, <laughs> what have I done? And you're just like, well, I guess I'll try it. It's broken. <laughs> Can't feel a thing. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, uh, yeah we have to thank uh, six new people who signed mm-hmm. up on Patreon. Yes. So we want to thank uh, JJ, not the jet plane. Oh, not the jet plane. Okay. Oh. Which that's like a kid show. It's like sure. a cartoon. I think so. Uh, okay. Damian sounds, sounds Sanders, right. Parker Hamlet, Harry Penis, <laughs> Harry Penis. No, it's Harry Ness. And his middle name is P. Is Can that? You not read? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> And then uh, Angelo G. Bo, uh, Boniello the I third. Get I, get I get it. I get Bonio. it. Bonio. Yep. Yep. You get that? Is that yep. a thing? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Bon, bon, Bonio. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. And then, uh, and then Philip McCrevis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Patreons. <laughs> You guys, are, I mean, there's no other reason. Like, Andrew started it as, if you're a Patreon, we'll read your name. Yeah. So you can hear your name. But people are like, ah, fuck my name. They can't pronounce it anyway. Philip, right? They'll screw it up anyway. <laughs> Philip, my crevice. Harry, penis. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Good stuff. Yes, very much. Thank uh, so thank you to those people. Go to patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling uh, to sign up. You know, we did the Elimination Chamber recap. Yep. yep. We did all that stuff. Uh, you know, that's where the WrestleMania recap will be, obviously. Yeah. So, and all the brackets. We're doing another bracket later this week. Bracket. 
It's uh, basically just doing the New Day's uh, best TV show of all time bracket. Yeah. I think we're going to take a few shows out of we there. We are. I think we are. And put some other ones in. Mix I still think the best shows are on there. Like, you know, the winners are already on the bracket. For sure. You know? We got to be careful here. When we talk about wrestling and, and like, you know, we're doing the hottest of all time bracket and Stacey Keebler is probably going to win because Joe and Andrew are in the room or whatever, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, this is going to be tough because TV shows that we've lived in our lives. Yes. Very personal. Oh, yeah. When you tell me you hate something, it's personal with right. TV shows. Wrestling, nah, it's, it's all relative. But like, don't tell me that SNL is going out in the first round. Don't do it because we'll riot. Did you, watch, we, I mean did you I. watch last week's episode with Daniel Craig? Yeah. It was horrible. Did you watch the week before that? Yes. With John Mulaney? It was that great. That one was good. It was yeah. really good. The Daniel Craig one was so fucking bad. He's not a he's not a funny guy. Well, it's not his fault, I don't well, think. It's just, uh, the segments well, were if shit. He can't, if he can't deliver it, either. The segments were shit. It Anyways. Was, it was following yeah. the John Mulaney one that was like actually funny. Right. Most of it, it's hard. It was like right, tough We're one. not doing the bracket yet. Tough so if you've been anyway, waiting for someone to storm out of a bracket... Anyway, I have SNL. This is the episode. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, predicting three storm outs. All, right. all from you. All You're going to leave, no, come back, leave, come back. Where do you know of one I'm storming out on? So. Of course. Yeah. yeah. We'll see if we can get Andrew to storm out. Uh, we'll see. It's, yeah. there, you know, it's, I think it happened once. Yeah. But maybe Almost, Why don't we uh, like put on Attitude Era Raw on there? No. Because you have to put Raw. You have to yeah, take the show. I said Attitude Era. You can't nope, just you be like, take it oh, in its SNL, entirety. only the good episodes. Fine. Right. I'll do Raw is War. <laughs> right. Not you can't Monday do The Raw. Office oh. minus seasons eight and nine. Oh, man. You should, yeah. though. You really should. Yeah. <laughs> All right, look. Enough. We're not doing the bracket now. Anyway, oh, that's turn our that show. bracket over. Five-star so, review. So that, we're not tempted. Turn that bracket over so we're not thinking about brackets. I have the I have trivia on the other side. Oh, right, thanks. Okay. All right. There you go. Yeah. Oh, did we go <laughs> through the doodles. checklist? No. Yeah. Oh. Thanks, guys. Oh. Oh, we're not recording. Pizza? No, we are. Okay. The um, one time I don't look at it, and last time we got about 30 seconds in, and we realized we weren't recording. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. We have one more announcement. Oh. Hmm. Uh, so uh, there's this new app out Ooh. there Ooh, called Hot Mike, and uh, basically it's uh, like a watch along um, thing like that we could do. Uh-huh. So basically, what we're gonna do since we don't do the SmackDown podcast really anymore, uh, we're gonna be on Hot Mike this Friday. Mm-hmm. Download the app, just type in Hot Mike on your smartphone. Yes. And uh, Friday night when SmackDown comes on, we'll be on there, and yes. we'll be doing live commentary. While Smackdown. Smackdown is on the air, so you no longer have to listen to Michael Cole. Yeah, You get to listen. You'll be able to see us just like this is right here, except it'll be the green screen. Not and, the, and how do they find us if there's more than one person doing Smackdown? You, it's what's well, wrong, when or? you pull up the app, you have to sign up, and then you click Smackdown. You'll see it there. You'll see it there? It's yeah. very simple. And also, guys, if you're loyal fans of ours, and um, you know, if you can just download the app and sign in, mm-hmm. even if you just do that, it helps us Yeah, yeah. Uh, as far as compensation and seeing if this will be something we could do in the future. Right. right. So if you're People like, you know, been- I don't have time to watch the whole show right now, just download the app. Click on our link, and that would be super helpful. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Watch SmackDown with us. A lot of people have asked this over the years. Right? Have you thought about doing like a live cast? You know, live live watch something mm-hmm. like that. Or just watch one and then for a show, just do the the audio of us watching it. But this is better, right? Because it's in the moment. Yes. It's while you're watching it, you hear us comment on it. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And you could, yeah, you could put in comments as well that we could read live or answer any questions and all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah. And it might be the only time we do it. So you better uh, tune in. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Might be one and done. We'll yeah. see what happens. We'll see. Check it out. Hot mic this Friday. Boom. Mm. All right. So wait, raw. wait, 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 wait. There's one more order. Yeah, of we got to get to raw. Nope, raw. It's nine thirty. Can we get to raw? Yeah. Can we please? Oh my uh, god. No. Nope. So there's work in the uh, morning. I believe you. Do you said, need another water? I have. Nope. You have uh, your water. A little bit full. further down the table. This is the mixer. They can't see it though, Eric. Right past got- that. Um, he better not be talking about what I think he's talking about because that is its own Patreon episode. Yeah, I don't know. I don't we don't know talk about mean, that right? on the podcast. Oh, we do. No, we don't. Oh, we do. All right, oh, so Ross God. starts with Becky Lynch. Uh, this guy. Uh, we- oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, never mind. All, All right, right, here you go. You fucking won the title. Good, That's good job. Right, I will be strolling into WrestleMania with this bad boy. I'm, oh, I'm going to bring yeah, it. How often Brock does, Lesner. Yeah. You're Brock Lesnar. How often is the Aww. champ? The champ goes into Mania, and then he drops it. Goldberg, no. dropping it. Lesnar, dropping it. Miz. Mm. Oh. 
Uh, yeah, that's guy. a tag title. The one guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I mean when he. Oh yeah. right. Well, yeah, but he had the Rock help him. Right. Yeah. Triple you H have is, no help. But for the most part, you go into Mania and you drop the main title, which is what you're yeah. going to do. Oh, you're really? going to drop the main NXT title. You're going to no. drop the main title. No. And I'm going to be the two-time champ again. I'm going to get extra again. prints on my face again. and just again. put them over you guys. And I'll, and I'll tell you You'll this. one in of, all Eric. After seeing my promo for uh, hashtag search for Spears, uh, some fans suggested that we do promos. Like if you have a title, mm-hmm. uh-huh. you do a promo for that next pay-per-view. Okay. Um, what you're I think do. we do anyway, no, no. right? Yeah, we can. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we but now we might that. have to add some production to it. Maybe. Maybe that might uh, be fun. Yeah, yeah we do sure. have a green screen. Why not? Yeah. Anyway, Becky Lynch, something about Becky Lynch? Yeah, so Ross starts with Becky Lynch. Yeah, yeah. put the title down, you mm. fucking schmuck. Oh, wow. um, <laughs> Becky Lynch comes out. We watch highlights of Shayna uh, putting everyone to sleep at Elimination Chamber. And I don't mean the superstars, I mean the crowd. Yeah. yeah. Shayna put the crowd to sleep. She yes. put us to sleep. It was amazing. Uh, then we have a post-match interview where Shayna says, <laughs> it, this was after the Elimination Chamber, I guess it was on WWE.com or YouTube, and they played it on Raw. Shayna's being interviewed, it's just the interviewer and Shayna, and Shayna looks in the camera and says, Becky, look at me when I'm talking to you. Yeah. But Becky's not there. No. The fuck? Maybe oh. Becky was filming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Becky had the camera. Yeah. And by the way, Becky was looking right at the screen. Yeah. She yes. wasn't like looking down where you're like, wait, what? Mm-hmm. Is this some Bray Wyatt magic? No, she was looking right up there. And it was a promo from the night before. Right. Yeah. So Shayna says at WrestleMania, I'm taking the Raw Women's Championship and there ain't a damn thing you could do about it. Ooh. Bitch. Oh. And then, of Ooh. course, everyone freaks out because they said bitch, even though they say bitch <laughs> all the time now. I said, I said, I said bitch. So Becky says, I may be a bitch, but I'm the bitch who runs this division. Uh, Becky addresses Shayna and says, you're the biggest threat to come my way since I pried this from your little friend Ronda Rousey's broken hand last year. Mm. Pim, 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 pim. You're underestimating me, and I'm going to smash your face in for it. Um, oh, okay. So. Um. so she's no longer, now that she's on like the main roster officially, she's no longer the submission magician. No. She's the cage fighter. She's right. the cage fighter. That's her nickname. Which that's what Ronda Rousey was. Yes. A much better cage fighter was Ronda Rousey. Yes. She yes. didn't have the UFC fucking championship. No. No. Ever. Ever. I don't even remember her competing. Ever. Ever. Uh, yeah, not she wasn't like a huge Yeah, they they uh they're definitely like, you know, overstating how good of a cage fighter Shayna Baszler was. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so, anyways, uh, first match we got Rey Mysterio versus Angel Gar- Angel Garza with Zelina Vega ringside. She's sticking with him. No Andrade. Mm. What? But Must still be Andrade is the U.S. champ, but she's hanging out with Angel Garza. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rey hits the six one nine, almost botches off the top rope, but he still manages to splash onto Garza for Just the win. Manages. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't a frog splash, but <laughs> no. he did it, and uh, Mysterio got the win there. Uh, yeah, it was a good match, but you know. Where are they going with all this? The fatal four way for yeah, the US? That, yeah, sure. Why for not? sure, right? Yeah. With yeah. Korea winning? Yeah. Nope, probably not. Yeah, probably. That's that, you know, you're going to lose another fucking pay per view scorecard. You put that again. Yeah. He's got to win. <laughs> I've never uh, been more convinced. <laughs> really? Hold on, then who wins? What then about Andrade? him? Do you James? see a star when you see Umberto Carrillo? You see a star? Do you see a star when you see Roman Reigns? They do this all the time. They push the wrong person. Are you kidding me? You know, we do a podcast not, that talks about how bad they make decisions. There's a big difference between well, Roman Reigns and Umberto Carrillo. It's the U.S. title. Roman like, Reigns anybody has is it. a fucking... Anybody can have it. You can have it. I, I think it. I have no, had it. Right. Probably so did. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty... I'm doubling down. <laughs> okay. I'm going for That's it. two bucks then. All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Earlier today, we see Kevin Owens arrive to the arena, but he was attacked and laid out by Rollins' disciples. Yeah. I like and, how he uh, threw his suitcase at them. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Did nothing. Yeah. You know, a bunch of refs and agents come up. It was funny seeing Jamie Noble there since he used to be with Seth. Right. J&J Security. It's like, you used to be so cool, Seth. So underrated. Hey, buddy. Hey. All right. No. J&J no. Security was so great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so great. Anyways, next up, we have a promo for Stone Cold on Raw next week. Uh, and then, uh, you know, it's like, why is he coming? I get it. I get it. It's 316. But, like, why does he care? And then a giant can of Broken Skull IPA appears on the screen. Like, there, the, it takes it up the entire screen. Yeah. And it's like it Stone Cold next week on Raw. How many stunners? 
next week? Zero. Zero? Zero. Yeah. Yeah. How many I, I Love You promos? Three. Three. That's great. Yeah. All right. Uh, Do you want me to try to find that beer to drink next week on the podcast? No. <laughs> I don't I don't like IPAs. Okay. I know. Oh, it's Stone Cold. It might be good. I heard it's not. Yeah, it's not. David, you tried it? I tried it. I didn't care for it too much. Yeah. And you like IPAs. I like IPAs. Wow. Yikes. Mm. Was it too IPA-ish? Yeah. Like, <laughs> certain IPAs kind of t- taste like a pine cone <laughs> dipped in NyQuil. That's what his tastes like? God. Kind of, yeah. I Don't talk like about idea. my beer! Right. I still you like your idea bitch. about beer, though. So, should I bring beer? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Haterade? Yeah. Yeah. Like so, okay. Drink yeah. some beer. Yeah. All right, next up, we have a Charlotte Flair in-ring promo. She sarcastically calls Rhea Ripley the next big thing. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, which is funny, since the Lesnar episode just came out on the right. network. Right. Yeah. Uh, have Cheap you caught point. up? Are you all? Have you watched all of them? No, I've only watched. I've watched up to the Evolution episode. I saw that one. So there's a the next one's Lesnar, and then the next one after that is about the brand split, and then it's taking a break. It's coming back. I think they said summertime. It's coming back. Hmm. It's more Sorry. episodes. Why am I taking yeah. a break? That's okay. Stupid. Uh, yeah. So uh, because so you get the network for longer. No, because <laughs> they know <laughs> they know they can't compete with Darth, Dark Side of the Ring, <laughs> yeah. even oh, if yeah. they're on the network. That's, That's a good fun. point. Oh, God, can't wait. Uh, So Charlotte says Rhea will be humbled by the queen at WrestleMania. Ripley comes out. She does her foot stomp entrance, and she has Pyro. Wow. For the first time. The only NXT star with Pyro. Winner. (laughs) (laughs) Again, like when she was doing the foot stomp in NXT, it's like, yeah, that looks so much better with Pyro. And then Mm. she did it, Pyro, and it was cool. It looks better than Roman Reigns fisting the ground. I'm so back and forth on that title at WrestleMania right now. Yeah. Right. I was for sure like Charlotte. Now I'm leaning Ripley retains, I think. Yeah. That's going to be. It's all to promote NXT. It yep. is. Uh, Charlotte says, Raw's my kingdom, so you're excused. Uh, get out of here. Rhea punches Charlotte once, knocking her on her ass. And then Rhea leaves as Charlotte laughs in shock. Well, that was lame. Right. Mm. One punch. Bye. Big show style. You have the cool entrance. You come out. Well, you look she awesome. Even, she wasn't even really bothered by it. She was like, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was super lame. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Ripley, do something to her. Fuck. Yeah. Next up, we have Bobby Lashley versus Zack Ryder. Uh, um, why? <laughs> why is this happening? Yeah. We have Kurt Hawkins ringside, but no Lana because she's filming a movie that stars Bruce Willis and it's an alien invasion plot. Oh, boy. What? Yeah. I can't be good. <laughs> I mean, I got the big. How, you know, how old is Bruce Willis now? Come on. In the meantime, 70. Zach Ryder's on like on two shows in a row. Best week ever. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know what? Lashley wins in uh, sixty seconds. No, you best thanks, week ever. Thanks for playing. Zach. <laughs> hashtag still blessed. Hashtag still here. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag grateful. Hashtag why won't Cody call me? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag pay per view bonus makes me buy more toys. <laughs> right. He wasn't on the pay per view. We'll probably we'll see him. Right, pre show. Pre show. Dude, Bullshit. the chance of us seeing him at Universal on Monday are like 90%. Right. <laughs> 90%. Right. Hey, Zach, do we have to be uh, at Raw in a couple hours? Uh, no, bro. Mm, no. Post Mania show. <laughs> are you serious, bro? <laughs> Doesn't everyone show up after Raw, like just in case? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, right. man. Oh, yeah, just check Twitter. Oh, if you I was going to go because Chelsea was asked to be there just in case, but uh, <laughs> I decided to come to Universal and yeah. cry myself to sleep instead. Yeah. Zach yeah. was like, you know, Lashley might have beaten me on TV, but I beat him uh, with my action figures. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I win. I win. <laughs> He's like, the gift shop's having a toy sale, bro. You think I'd miss that? Right. <laughs> March has arrived, and we are only weeks away from the big tournament. Yes, that tournament. Make sure you head to betonline.ag and open an account today to get in on their $100,000 Bracket Madness contest starting March 15th. That's right. I said $100,000 starting March 15th. You don't need to be a hardcore fan to get in on the action, and with multiple entries available, it's the best chance to cash in. And remember, the NBA and XFL are still going strong, so whatever your passion is, betonline.ag is the place to be for all your betting needs. So visit our good friends and exclusive partner, betonline.ag, to take advantage of the best bonuses in the business. 
Sign up for a free account and make sure to use that promo code CLNS50 for your 50% sign-up bonus. Again, that is promo code CLNS50 for a 50% sign-up bonus. BetOnline.ag, your online sportsbook experts. So backstage, uh, Alistair Black's just sitting there when someone knocks on his door, and it's Seth Rollins and the Murph. Yeah. Uh, Seth wants Alistair to join him, but Alistair declines. Seth says, you're either with me or against me, and Alistair says, that sounds like fighting words, and I accept. Mm. So it's a match for later in the show. Okay. hell. Next up, we have Eric Rowan versus Drew McIntyre. Yeah. And, you know. Why? It's like, well, Alistair's beating Rowan. Of course McIntyre's going to beat him. Yeah. Uh, McIntyre beats up Rowan outside the ring. Then McIntyre... Sees the cage, places it on the floor, grabs the steel steps, and then crushes the fake spider. Yes. They so couldn't he have just put like some blood caps or something in there. Yeah, just right. some green with mist red caps. caps. No, because everyone knows it's a fake spider. True. I think that's even part of the thing now. It's right. like, oh, it's a fake spider. And then that's it. Yeah, he just killed his gimmick. That's all. He just yes. killed it. Six months of buildup. Yes. <laughs> to reveal it. Like, yeah. he put his hand through it and basically just did this. <laughs> I think his hand was, like, in the thing. <laughs> right, it was a puppet. So, <laughs> like, what, a week or two later, Drew McIntyre kills it. Yeah. Great job, WWE. Way to sell it off. Way to really pay it off in the end. Mm-hmm. Nice. <sighs> yeah. And McIntyre wins with the Claymore, obviously. Uh, all right. Next up, we have the Kabuki Warriors versus Liv Morgan and Natalia. Why? Why? Are Why? Liv and Natalia tagging together? Why? Oh. The previous night, they were against each other at the chamber. A, that's a good point. In fact, did you hear when, the, when uh, Natalia said, Hey, Liv, this is going to be you. And then Liv went, Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Because she thought she was pointing. She thought Natalia was pointing to herself. Yeah. Mm. Right. <laughs> She's like, this is going to be you. She's like, oh, fuck. Liv actually said that. I didn't, we didn't realize it at the time watching it, but someone posted it on Twitter and I was like, oh, that's awesome. Mm. But uh, Asuka and Kyrie cut a promo before the match. Take a listen. Kabuki Warrior. Who are you? <laughs> what? The, what is happening? Asuka di Skyri di. What is happening? And like this went on for like 30 more seconds. Yeah. What is happening? Why do they think we want to hear this? Right. <laughs> what is that? Remember when Asuka used to be Asuka? Yeah. In NXT. So good. I mean, oh Shayna God. beat her in the chamber in what, three minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Three minutes. Yeah. The greatest of all time versus the newest greatest of all time, and she beats her in three minutes. Right. Mm hmm. Yeah. Wow. So, Why couldn't uh, they have had that ended early? They could have had like a 15 minute match, just the two of them. Yeah. Yeah. So dumb. Can you imagine if they'd let them do an elimination chamber at a takeover? I know. That'd be so awesome. Oh, oh my God. God. They could never. Because then, <laughs> right? could, then they could never do it on WWE again. Ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, Ruby Riot comes out to watch. A few minutes later, Sarah Logan comes out to watch. That's hot. And I was like, oh, you know, like they're both standing there. Like, is this a Riot Squad, you know, reunion? They're going to get back together because you might as well because you're doing nothing with nothing. these three women. Yeah. But then Ruby and Sarah look at each other and start fighting. Mm. And then Liv dives onto them off the top rope. Right. Natalia reaches for a tag, but Liv's not there. Uh, Natty does get Kyrie in the sharpshooter, but she doesn't know that Kyrie isn't legal. That's not nice. <sighs> yeah. And then uh, Asuka kicks Natty in the face for the for the win. Yeah. So. Yep. So I guess. Uh, Look how great the Kabuki Warriors are against Liv Morgan and Natalia. Two people who have never tagged together yeah. and, and never will, suck. never will again. So and, uh, dominant. Kind of suck. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess uh, Liv Morgan versus Sarah Logan versus Ruby Riot at WrestleMania. At WrestleMania? No, that, no, no pre-show. No, no, that's not happening. No, at like at like uh, Access. They're, they're Access. part of the final. They're part of the final 
four of the uh, the uterus battle royal. No, they'll, uh, yeah, they'll just be in the battle royal. That's it. Yeah, and face off for a minute. Yeah, uh, maybe it'll come down to those three, and Liv will win. No, ah, will win. that's funny, Eric. Yeah. All right, next up we have AJ. Who Styles. won last year? I don't. Naomi? No, Who? Carmella. Carmella. Oh, Naomi God. won the year before He's that. Right? Why couldn't Liz win? Because you know why? Who gives a shit? Yes. Doesn't matter. Yeah, but then you get buried when you win. Well, <laughs> I mean, even better. <laughs> or you, you become our truth, like you know, uh, fucking mistress. I don't better know. Better than what she's doing. Yeah. Dance, all right. Dance, buddy. So next up, we have an AJ Styles in-ring promo with the Good Brothers behind him. Styles says, you know, three years ago, I saw The Undertaker lose to Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. And after the match, The Undertaker folded his jacket, took off his gloves and his hat, and laid them nice and neat, right in the middle of the ring. I watched him walk up the aisle, and halfway up, he threw his fist up. As if you were riding off into the sunset. <laughs> Truthfully, I think that he probably should have done that when Brock Lesnar into this street, but whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is, the point is, it was a beautiful, powerful moment. And The Undertaker ruined it. He ruined it when he came back to the WWE. your ego well what was it the spotlight whatever it is it's gonna cost you because i want you at wrestlemania well, all right you, you know what it was <clears throat> what was it saudi money. saudi money yeah. that's right yeah <clears throat> no sure. so so far really good promo right really yeah, good promo yeah. hype in the match right right so far so good well here's where they ruin it 15 10 years ago I maybe have been a little bit hesitant about calling The Undertaker out. But the truth is, <laughs> I don't see this mythical monster anymore. I don't see this phenom anymore. What I do see is a broken down old man named Mark Galloway. Oh, oh you stupid why? sons of bitches. Why? You stupid, dumb motherfuckers. Why? Why? So he's not the Undertaker. The Undertaker is not a real thing. Nope. He's just Mark Calloway. He is. Remember on Breaking Bad when, uh, you know, Jesse told Walter White, like, you're not really this, you know, meth king. You're just Brian Cranston. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that. No, you don't. Oh, no. <clears throat> because it didn't happen. That's right. And that's why you're not on the bracket for the New Day, WWE Raw. Yeah. Psh, psh, you, you fucks. Psh. God, it's just breaking kayfabe at all costs. That's right. just so dumb. That does not make me want to see this match. Undertaker's winning for sure. Of course. Yeah. For sure. There was never a question. If you're going to say that he's old and broken down and Mark Calloway, yeah. first of all, he might come out as Mark, Mark Calloway. Calloway now. Big, or worse. Big, big Red. Or worse. Biker Taker. Biker Taker. Biker Taker. <laughs> yeah. American Badass. Keep so, rolling, 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 rolling. Old. Rolling, 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 rolling. Hip <laughs> replacement. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, so this keeps go this gets worse and worse because then AJ's like, oh, I don't know if you know this, but Undertaker's married to Michelle McCool. It's like, yeah, everyone knows that. Yes. Uh, and, you know, that's why Undertaker keeps coming back. She gets what she wants. She's the most conniving person I've ever met. Oh, man. Undertaker, your wife is going to run you into the ground, and I'm going to help her. I'm going to make sure you die in that ring at WrestleMania. I'm going to take the Undertaker's soul at WrestleMania. And become the Undertaker. Become the Undertaker. He says, uh, what do you have to lose, Undertaker? You've already lost your dignity. True. Yeah. Your pride. Yep. True. Yes. Yeah. Your mystique. Yeah. Yes. Gone. Uh, you're just a broken down old man. This is too real. It is. <clears throat> yep. uh, these people don't care about you, so fight me at WrestleMania, and I'll put the final nail in your coffin. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, you know, there's a good line. Sure. For, foreshadowing. Right. <clears throat> and um, Coffin match? No. Casket no. match? Coffin match? No, 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 no. Good board. Maybe it's a buried alive so that Undertaker can lose. He just buries them, and he never comes back. They he always the, does, though. They do the Hall of Fame speech. He's not there. Like, no, he got buried. Taker's <laughs> lost every buried alive match he's ever been in. All of Same. them. Yeah. So next week they're gonna have a contract signing. I guess that's where AJ will get one over on Taker. Or right. instead of a buried alive, they have that pirate ship there. They could do a walk the plank match. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
throw yeah. your opponent off the plank. But if they fall, they die. Yeah, because they fall into shark waters. <laughs> shark I mean, I, 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 I can't wait to see too. Mark Calloway versus Aaron Jones at WrestleMania. It's oh, going to be oh, Alan boy. Jones. Oh, Alan, Alan Jones, Jones, right. Yeah. Sorry. Excuse me. Oh, boy. All right, next up, Charlie Caruso interviews Randy Orton somewhere in the bowels of the arena. Orton's like mankind now. Yeah. He's like hanging out in the creepiest section of the arena. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, you know, he RKO'd a woman the week prior, right? He did. A big buff woman, Beth Phoenix, has yeah. big muscles. Um, well, now a small woman, Charlie Caruso, is interviewing him, and she's not even afraid. She's like, hey, Orton, you RKO'd a woman last week. Hi! No! <laughs> no! You don't do this! The guy fucking hits women. He beats up women. Oh, yeah, send our tiny woman to go talk to him. Yes. Yeah. Is this, this the first woman he's ever beat up? No, no, no it's not, not even close. He's got a long history. <laughs> May Young, Stephanie McMahon, oh man, Stacy Keebler, so many. Yeah, so she tells Orton Edge is on his way to the arena. We've already said this twenty times. Uh, so I was hoping you would share your thoughts. And Orton just stands there, doesn't say anything, mm. and then she walks away. Powerful. Great job, great Powerful. job, Charlie. Uh, next up, we have Riddick Moss versus Cedric Alexander for the twenty four seven title. God. Uh, in a regular match. Yes. Another regular match. Another <sighs> Moss wins in three minutes with his neck breaker finisher. They're trying to legitimize this joke of a title. They are, right. and they're letting Riddick Moss do this. After they've Give made it, to... it a joke for a year, He's now they want to legitimize it. In like but under five minutes. But no one goes to try to, you know, no one tries to take it from them. It's not the 24-7 title anymore. It's the TV title. Or everyone just, just gave up, maybe. Just rename it the TV title. Right. And be like, this will be defended every show. Right. Because it is. Yeah. But it's not the 24-7 title anymore because he's not defending it anywhere else. Yeah. yeah. Except in the ring. That's right. not the point of the title. Just say that. Just every week, this is a title that's defended. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, next up, we have uh, MVP in the ring. Top right. Just why? Why? <laughs> no, Ashley. no, 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 no. Thank you. We, we don't need this for Edge. This is unnecessary. For Edge? You're taking an amazing thing we got back and you're dumping shit on it. Why Enough, do that? Heyman. Why Enough. do that? Mm. And he's like a Heyman. He's a Heyman's boy, I guess. Uh, so MVP says he wants to build a stable and he wants to start with Edge. Yeah, good luck, buddy. Bottom right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, then we see Edge arrive to the arena and MVP is like, oh, yeah, there's, there he is. He's going to come join my stable. It's like, you're a fucking idiot. So Edge comes out to the ring, grabs the mic from MVP, and says, Randy, I need you to grow a set and come out here right now. Obviously, he's pissed. Uh, MVP tells Edge, you're focusing on the wrong things. Uh, speaking of which, how's your wife? Ooh. And then Edge spears MVP. But then Orton comes from under the ring to attack Edge. So I guess that Charlie Caruso interview was pre-taped. It was under the ring? It was... <laughs> that's right i forgot we saw caruso crawl into the ring before that segment yeah Um, did you see that that doink excuse me the doink the clown versus doink the clown little documentary thing where the guy steal the guy who played the ultimate the alternate doink Mm -hmm. that one year at wrestlemania yeah he said he was under the ring for five hours until his segment where he has to come out. Jesus. Because yes. they had no other way to figure out how to get this guy to the ring in full clown makeup. Yeah. And then after the match, he went under the ring, and he stayed there for another three hours. That's what he says. In oh, because it was in the middle of the show. He said they had a TV monitor so he can watch the show. Yeah. They had food. They had a chair. I'm not sure how the well, chair that's what Well, that's what Hornswoggle talked about all this, because he used to be under the ring all the time. All the time. And he's like, yeah, I'd been under there for hours. You'd have things to piss in, a TV, to know right. when to come out. And He's like, well, I wasn't even on the show. They and would like, just stick me under the ring you know, He also hours. had like a headset so he could talk to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, uh, yeah, Orton attacks Edge. Edge pushes Orton off and gives Randy an RKO. Out weird, of nowhere? Weird looking RKO. That was a rated RKO. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Edge then leaves the ring to get two chairs. But when he gets back in the ring, Orton rolls out. Uh, MVP attacks Edge while Randy escapes to the stage. And Edge chokes out MVP while staring at Orton, looking like a psychopath. Yeah. And then Edge says, you know what? Fuck it. I got these two chairs. And he gives MVP the concerto. Yeah, poor MVP. <laughs> like, I might hate MVP, but did he deserve that? All right, no. so now he's written off TV, right? Could he be dead, please? <laughs> Maybe. No, you know what? It probably would take two concertos to do that. Yeah. Oh, so after He'll that, be the, right back. The crowd chants one more time, and Edge does it again. Right. Yeah. Two concertos. Two concertos to MVP. Mm-hmm. 
Ouch. I mean, it killed Matt Hardy. It did. Got him out of there. So after that, Edge leaves the ring to chase Orton, but we go to commercial. And then uh, when, we, you know, when we come back, Charlie tries to interview Edge, and he asks her, where's Randy? But she tells him he left. Mm-hmm. And he looks pissed. Mm. But, like, I'm surprised they still haven't announced this for Mania. Like, obviously, we know it's a Mania match. Right, for sure. But, like, when Might are you going to end the show? When are you going to announce it? It should end the show. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll see. Maybe I'm sure next week they'll announce it. Whatever. Uh, so uh, next up, we got Seth Rollins versus Aleister Black with Murphy ringside. They fight for 10 minutes or so, but then Murphy causes a DQ by attacking Black. And then uh, AOP come out to join in on the beatdown. But then the Viking Raiders come out. Then the Street Profits come out. The good guys clear the ring and Ford suggests they have an eight man tag team match. <laughs> Uh, so we got the Street Profits. So what happens to Aleister Black? He leaves. Oh, yeah. He's just, he just left. I don't, I don't want any part of this. No. <laughs> Tagging with people? We oh, got God. the Street Profits and the Viking Raiders versus Seth and Friends. Just fucking A, man. Yeah. Uh, during the match, they show a video. They show the video of Kevin Owens when he was laid out earlier. Like, yeah, we know he's coming out. Right. Yeah. You don't have to make it 100% guaranteed. Right. <laughs> Uh, so Ford dives onto everyone outside the ring except for Rollins, and when he slides back in, Seth hits the curb stomp for the win. After the match, Kevin Owens pulls Seth out of the ring to attack him. AOP throws Owens into the ring. Uh, one gets a stunner, the other charges, but Owens pulls down the rope, so out he goes. Uh, Murphy gets in the ring, Owens hits the stunner, and Murphy does a fucking backflip. Which Amazing. is fucking great. Yeah. Uh, Rollins then gets in the ring and gives Owens a curb stomp. And then another one, Murphy tries to get back in the ring, but Rollins tells him, stay back. And then Rollins gives Owens one more curb stomp to end the show. So obviously, you know, they've been planning this WrestleMania match between Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens for a while. And it's for nothing. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a WrestleMania match for nothing. Zero. We've already seen these guys fight hundreds of times. Yes. I'm not interested in this match. No. Not at all. Mm Mm-mm. At least say you're next in line for a title shot or something. Yeah. You know. Give them one of them a title. Like, oh, here, here's the U.S. title. Who has that? Here, you have it now. <laughs> for the U.S. title. <laughs> but still, we've seen Someone them. Someone lose this. We saw them feud for the Universal title. Yeah. We don't need this anymore. We don't need Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens. Or he says, or like, uh, Owens is like, oh, what, am I, what am I even fighting you for? Yeah. Or Seth goes, what am I even fighting you for? We shouldn't even fight. And then, like, Riddick Moss is, like, walking in the background. Yeah. And then he kicks him, stuns him. The ref walks by. He pins him. And he goes, we're fighting for this. <laughs> That'd be a way to make it relevant. Right. Or, or he's like, uh, Rollins is like, what are we fighting for? And, and uh, Kevin Owens says, loser goes to SmackDown to job to Roman Reigns for, for six. Yeah. And he's like, oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I better not lose. What are you, crazy? Yeah. But just, yeah, not interested in another Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens match. Yeah. Like. Kevin Owens should be a fucking champion. He should be the champion. Fuck D. Goldberg. D. Fuck Lesnar. Fuck yeah. them all. Mm. All right, so let's give some awards. Okay. Yeah. Who Jeff for worst dressed? Uh, I had Natalia. Natalia. I had a uh, Charlotte. Really? Oh, no. Yes. Oh. Did you not see what she? How she looked? Why don't you ask Eric the next question? Uh, who is your best dressed? Charlotte. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Look like a man in a dress. Come I on, admit- Eric. <laughs> Damn. She's looked better lately. No, no. It was not good. Right. And I'm going to prove it. Her hands were as big as I had Liv Giants. Morgan. And her Adam's apple was as big as her balls. <laughs> <laughs> I had Liv, Liv Morgan. Who did uh, you have, Andrew, while you're pulling that up? I had Zelina Vega. Zelina Vega. I know, I know. Big shocker. Vega. Look, look. Look at that. Look. Yeah, hot. No. Hot. Is no. that her ass? Rhea no, Ripley no. looked better. Well, that's Liv's Liv. ass. Nah. I don't think so. Wrong. Look, Zack Ryder looked better. I love Zack Ryder. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> oh, that beard. <laughs> All right, worst acting. Match? Yeah. Uh, worst acting MVP. 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 Sweep it. He did real MVP yeah. of worst acting. For real. Best acting? Edge. Edge. Uh, Edge. Yeah, obviously. I had Edge. Worst comments? The Kabuki promo. <laughs> that was yeah, really but, bad. I, what did they say? <laughs> you can't say that. Yeah. I had uh, uh, Shayna 
Look at me when I'm talking to you. Uh, it's a tape. Okay. I had AJ Styles saying Mark Calloway. That's a good one. My best comment was AJ Styles saying <clears throat> Taker should have retired after Brock ended his streak. Okay. That's what I had. <laughs> uh, I had Becky saying, I may be a bitch, but I'm the bitch that runs this division. Eric you know? falling for the bitch line. All right. Worst. Bitches. <laughs> bitches Two get bitches. Awards. Worst match. Kabuki, Natalia, uh, Liv. Uh, <laughs> Bukaki, uh, Natalia, and Liv. Bukaki, Lashley, Ryder. Kabaki, Dabaki. I had Lashley, Ryder. Yeah. Uh, super slow-mo. Uh, eight-man tag. That's what I had. Yep. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Best match? Alistair Black versus Seth. No. I mean, no. Which one, then? That was like eight minutes, and it ended in a Which DQ. One? Mysterio and Garza. <sighs> Again. Um, but if we've seen it, does it not Again. qualify? If we've seen it more than three times, it shouldn't qualify for best match. It was still best match, though. Uh, it right. really was. Okay. Have we seen? Are you sure you're not convinced? You're not uh, mistaking two other Hispanic uh, guys? No, I'm not sure. Because <laughs> they only fight each other exclusively. Yeah, the four of them just fight each other all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell like who's fought who at this point. Right. I'm pretty sure. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, worst move. I had uh, Rhea punching Charlotte and then leaving. Okay. Like, got ya. Uh, Mysterio tried to reverse a move into a Harikarana, and Angel Garza basically had to, like, hold his feet up because he, like, let go. He, like, kind of botched it. Mm. And he had to throw himself on the ropes. I had uh, Viking Raiders. They were trying to do a move where the big dude jumps on the ropes and jumps right off. Well, he jumps on the ropes, but Aikam was late with his, uh, his hit mm. to knock him over. So he jumps on the ropes, and he's just like... <laughs> like literally leaning on the ropes like what are you doing yeah Aiken finally comes and knocks him over <laughs> alright best move uh, edges RKO uh, I had the stunner to Murphy the stunner to Murphy yeah. I'm gonna save that for Murphy something else. selling the stunner I'm gonna save that yeah. RKO okay. edge okay. yeah uh, right. worst moment MVP just seeing MVP yeah. just MVP enough okay enough best moment best moment was the RKO to Randy yeah. Edge murdering MVP. Wow. That's geez. good, too. Yeah. I did like the RKO, though. I did like the murder. It wasn't the best RKO, but the fact that he's doing his own move to him was great. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. That's all for awards. Uh, go, 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 go. Now it's time for some breaking news. So WWE announced that Jeff Hardy will be back in action for SmackDown this Friday. You sons of bitches. Isn't that great? Mm-hmm. Isn't that great? Mm-hmm. I'm sure the ratings will be skyrocketed now. Since they announced Jeff Hardy. Uh, they also announced that Paige will be on SmackDown to confront Bailey. Paige responded to this announcement on Twitter saying, I guess I'm going back to work Friday. See you soon. So Paige didn't even know. It, until she didn't saw she it on just Twitter. have like ovarian surgery? Yeah. Yeah, what is that? Like, how are they? Okay. Aye. Some people think that means Paige is coming back uh, to wrestle. Uh, Pretty sure that's not it. Yeah. Uh, also, Scott Steiner collapsed backstage at an Impact taping last Friday night. He was taken to a hospital and underwear, uh, underwent a heart procedure over the weekend. And they say he's doing well now, but apparently, you know, that was scary. Obviously. Obviously. That's scary. That's scary. Uh, Triple H received the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Arnold Classic. Mm-hmm. Arnold presented him the whatever that is. How do you get a Lifetime uh, Achievement Award when you haven't been in one competition? Right. Mm. That doesn't make sense. But all right. Well, you know, they do that at the Oscars sometimes, too. Where but like, they acted. It's a award for acting. Yeah, but they never won an Oscar. And then they're like, here you go. Here's you don't your have award. to win. The, you just have to compete, though, in it to at least qualify. <laughs> he never competed once. Yeah, but the, here you go. It's your I love your body. You're but you know, you have muscles, and you have a lot of muscles, and you're old with muscles like and me. you take steroids so good. You do the best steroids. <laughs> <laughs> you do the, the design the steroids that the actors do in Hollywood. Uh, I'll let you do that one, Eric. What? Go ahead. You had it pulled up. Oh, yeah. Uh, so at Elimination Chamber, you could say that uh, Daniel Bryan went balls out for his match. <laughs> oh, yes, my God. I mean, I thought he was crazy, but now I can clearly see his nuts. Did you Did you <laughs> Google the actual unedited, and unedited picture? No. No, but I know Joe did. No, I didn't. I was trying to get him to say yes. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Daniel Bryan. I wonder of, if they edited out of the show. Hi, do. We Hold it up. You know what? After the show, we'll check it we'll out. Have to see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, on, the so, big, on my big screen why TV. Why does Gulak keep grabbing his tights around the crotch? Because he wanted his ball to pop out. Yeah, so Daniel's one of Daniel Bryan's testicles kept popping out of his trunk. 
Uh, we we watched this popped match. out when. Yeah. Well, you're not always looking at his dick. I'm always. Looking. I wasn't looking at it. Yeah, I wasn't looking for his balls. Where else did you watch? Where else do you watch two guys fighting? Right at the dicks. I would, if I was Daniel In case Bryan, they start fighting. If yeah. I was Daniel Bryan, if I was DB, I would never wear a speedo again. Ever. In a Switching to wrestling match. pants. Yes. Or, or short. Shorts. Yeah. I mean, come like on those now. Cr- shitty Triple H shorts he wore. Oh yeah. For like yeah. two months. Right. Uh, it popped out a couple of times when he Ugh. dumped a. Uh, um, what's his Gulak over the ropes, and then when they did that like top rope move, yeah. Yeah. it even looks gross. Mid-air. It even looks, ball pops even out. the censored version looks gross. It right. does. It really his does. His balls are pixelated. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like they didn't do a censor image. How about just, just like a black bar? They or just something. pixelated his right. balls. Right. Oh All right. God. Let's uh, let's get a let's get a poll here. Yeah. Shaved or or natural? His balls. Daniel. Yeah. Oh fucking. Oh. Shaved. Natural. He's an all natural guy. Yeah, he yeah. That's that's my guess. Yeah. Isn't he shaved from like, you know, neck to toe? From a neck to asshole? <laughs> yeah. Uh also on Twitter, um WWE on Fox Twitter handle threw some shade at uh Brad Shepard. because uh, it he posted about like WWE employee comes in contact with coronavirus. And so they reply, guys, we usually don't interject, but when it comes to serious stuff, we will. Ringside News, especially Brad Shepard, isn't a trusted news source about anything. Please do not listen to them. Do as you will with other journalists. We won't promote anyone here, but please avoid Ringside News. I thought that was kind nice. of funny. Well, yeah. Because yeah. he is kind of a piece of shit. <laughs> and then finally... Uh, and then finally, a lot, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got a couple different things. Uh, I'll do this here. on news because it's not really too much rumor. Uh, WWE has instituted a no touching rule due to the coronavirus. They're wrestlers. I know, but like at no, no, autograph me, signings, for, for like fans. autograph signings like this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at right. Becky's hand. Yeah, I know. White knuckled. Fucking die. Um, well, so it's expected they're going to do that, the same rule for WrestleMania access. Yeah. Which means no more creepy virgins feeling up the women superstars. Right. But, I mean, if you're Sorry, Joe. paying $200, I mean, at least you want to, like, get a handshake or something. But, like, Sasha yeah. Banks, you could, there was photos of her at a, a signing this weekend, yeah. and she had, like, blue latex gloves. Yeah. And then she tweeted, I'm trying to go on vacation tomorrow. I don't want to get sick. Hashtag rich and healthy. And apparently, rich and healthy. No, that's, rich and that's, healthy. That's, that's her thing on Twitter yeah. now. Right. Braun Strowman did some fist bumps at his appearance for the big event in New York City, but Undertaker made it very clear he wouldn't be making any physical contact. Did you see Braun Strowman's video? Wash these hands. Jesus. Yeah. Didn't we <sighs> joke about that? Kind of. Probably. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so. Anything um, else? Uh, also, uh, Triple H's title has changed. He is now executive vice... Wait, what title? What do you mean? He doesn't have a championship right now. Oh, uh, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. He didn't say his belt changed. Yeah. Um, he is now the executive vice president of global talent strategy and development. And what was he previously again? Uh, he was executive vice president for talent, live events, and creative. What's the difference? I wonder if they'll still refer to him as the COO when he's yes. on TV. That is his <laughs> official uh, character's title. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's all I got for news. All right, let's go to rumors. Rumors! Kevin Owens wins back the Universal title? Maybe! Balor Club to finally get a second member? Too sweet! Brock Lesnar willingly works a full schedule? No chance! Next year's WrestleMania will be in Saudi Arabia? Confirmed! So Alex McCarthy of TalkSport is claiming that Bayley will defend her title at WrestleMania in a six-pack challenge. Featuring herself, Sasha, Naomi, Lacey Evans, Carmella, and one other person. Uh, he says the original plan was for Sasha versus Bailey one on one, but Sasha's still dealing with an injury. But was she in the match? Yeah, but it's like you know, if it's a six pack, you won't have to do as much. Yeah. But I hope that's not true. I hope it's a one on one match. Obviously. That would be so much. Better. Be way better. You got anything? Uh, yeah. Uh, PW Insider or Wrestling Observer. Uh, saying that Razor suffered an arm injury on Raw. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe like a bicep tear. So we'll see oh, wow. what happens with that. <clears throat> wow. 
Well, that faction's fucked. I mean, how are they going to do six and eight man tag now? So <laughs> tag, tag matches now. How are they going to just stand there and look imposing when Seth is talking? Yeah. They'll probably play? replace him if he's seriously hurt. You know, they'll bring someone else in, like Mojo Raleigh or some bullshit. Right. Oh, God. You got anything else? No, that's all I got. All right. Well, let's see what Joe's got for trivia. I figured we would do some Instagram followers edition of trivia. What? I'd like for you guys to work together on this. I don't know what this means. Who has more followers? That's oh, what okay. this is. Who you. has more followers? Got it. Let me start with Triple H, Executive Vice President of Global Strategy Development. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, him. And Randy Orton. Orton. Work together. <laughs> uh, sure. Randy Orton, 5.2 million. Mm -hmm. Triple H, 6 million. Mm -hmm. Triple H. Let's try I this one. Orton has a hot wife. Yeah. Well, he's always talking so about does how he wants to dick You know, down. she was a ring rat. Really? Yeah. Makes sense. He's a good one. He married a ring rat. Dave Batista, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Movies now, Marvel. Chris Jericho. Mm, Batista. Because of Marvel? Yeah. Jericho's big on the music scene. Is yeah, but what's bigger? <laughs> but plus he's got... Wait, eight. fucking Avengers <laughs> or music? Right. Let's go with Batista. Batista, 3.2 million. Jericho, 3.7 million. Mm. It's close. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> I told you. How about... Uh, you got Orton wrong, idiot. Gargano or Cole? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Cole. Gargano. Cole for 42,000. 442,000. Johnny, 512,000. This makes no sense. Suck it. This makes no sense. Here's a good one. Like, Cole's way more popular. And pretty. Stephanie what? or Mandy? Hmm. Probably Stephanie. They probably buy her followers. <laughs> right. If you're, if you're comparing Stephanie to Mandy, it's Stephanie. Stephanie, 2 million even. Uh -huh. Mandy, 2.2 million. Oh. You guys gotta get one of these right. Let's see. I did get uh, one right. Uh, that's true. Okay. Uh, here's a funny related one. Seth, and they're so close. Seth or Becky? Becky. Uh, yeah, Becky. Seth, 4.3. Becky, 4.6. Mm. Last one. AJ Styles. It's hilarious how close this is. AJ Styles or The Undertaker? The Undertaker. I'm going to say Styles because Undertaker's newer to... AJ Styles, 2.2. Undertaker, 2.3. Suck it. Are we tied? <laughs> nah. John so. Cena or Roman Reigns? Cena. Yeah, by like 10 million. Yeah. <laughs> Reigns only has 2.7 million. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so I beat you. Uh, <laughs> John Cena, I think guilty you too. Are we tied? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fan questions. Du, 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 du. Still don't have. Oh, uh, Jordan Strong. If the uh, Hall of Fame opened up a wing for matches, what would be the first inductee into the Sean Hall of Undertaker Fame? Sean Undertaker won. Oh yeah, not not Hogan Andre. No, nope. no, fuck that. Sean Taker won. That. that match doesn't even compare to Sean Undertaker. <laughs> oh, you heard it here. All right, uh, Jay Benjamin. Where does Drew McIntyre murdering a man's pet on live TV rank amongst the worst? WWE crimes. It was like the best. Like, thank you for getting rid of this. <laughs> right. No, that wasn't a horrible crime. Yeah, that was we have to blessing. redo the bracket? <laughs> no, it wouldn't even make the cut. No. Yeah, it wasn't it bad. Be, it wouldn't. Yeah. He saved Eric Rowan. <laughs> right. Right. Uh huh. Kyle Foxton, uh, will becoming Sean Spears' partner get in Jones' way of podcast appearances? No. Yeah. No. Hashtag 27 Super. I already Games. wrote it in the contract. Yeah. I wrote the contract. We record on Tuesdays. <laughs> AEW's on Wednesdays. True. Clearly. Very true. And they don't do any venues and travel anywhere. Yeah. So it's yeah. perfect. Uh, Jake Baker, Push Fire Barry, Orton versus Edge, I Quit Match, Becky versus Shayna, Submission Match, and then the winner, Alexa, Nikki versus the Kabuki Warriors, Broad and Panties Match. And then Fire, oh. the Submission, yeah. and yeah. Barry, exactly. the I Quit. Yes, obviously. Too yeah. easy. Matt Sillett, what a new faction of Edge, Roman Reigns, Oldberg, and Charlotte Flair called the Spear It Squad be any good? Yeah, right. The Spear It? It actually might. <laughs> It'd be like a new evolution. 
Uh, with Goldberg, that would be uh, de-evolution. Well, yeah. he wouldn't be allowed to wrestle. He would be like the mentor. Oh. And they wouldn't listen to just, him. Just a flair. Just winning what should I do? Just, just spear everyone. Just spear oh, them. okay. Uh, JJ, not the jet plane. Push fire, Barry. Who's behind the SmackDown glitch? Uh, return of the anonymous GM. Uh, the tech guy that Corbin beat up a week after eating dog food. <laughs> That's or funny. no one, it's actually a glitch. WWE can't figure out how to fix, and Vince just doesn't give a shit. Push that one. Push that. Push that. <laughs> Bury the uh, the guy. Tech guy. Cor- yeah, the tech, tech guy. guy. Fire, Fire the fucking anonymous GM, because that just means Cole's doing that shit again. Yeah. Oh. And then Horn- Hornswoggle eventually comes out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what is this one? Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, my Patreon subs- my- Mr. Patreon subscriber 816... Uh, rumor is that Seth Rollins, still not named stable, will be breaking up after Rollins takes time after WrestleMania. Do you think anything happens with AOP and Murphy, or do they just disappear? What is he? Is it? Are they getting married and going on a honeymoon? Is that why he's leaving? So is Becky dropping the title? I can't imagine they'd be gone for that long. No, they wouldn't. Even if they're getting married, they would be gone for a week or two. Mm-hmm. And you don't have to defend titles around here anymore, so we're, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Jack Bruffle, are there any female fans out there going to WrestleMania who could possibly fit in three dates with Josh over the weekend? Hashtag get Josh laid. No, it's impossible. No. <laughs> it's impossible because we he couldn't won't get do him it. laid if he had. Well, Joe, Joe already promised $3,000 hanging that, out I of bet. his zipper. <laughs> Jesus. TC, would you rather listen to Kyrie and Asuka cut a promo for the entire episode of Raw? No, or whatever the other thing is. That. Or. Yep, that. Oh, oh, oh. Or have Riddick Moss win the WWE title, the Raw After Mania from Drew McIntyre. Yeah, I'll probably still go that. <laughs> then listen to the Kabuki Warriors, the whole episode. Yeah. <laughs> no. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Brian, Pushfire Barry, current owner's edition. Jets owner, Knicks owner, WWE owner. Oh, I mean, they're fuck all, off. Kill them all. Kill the Knicks owner, because it's 20 years of suck. <laughs> and then, then Vince, and then the Jets owner, I guess. Fuck, the Jets owner makes it? Jeez. Uh, it's awful. Uh, Jason Deerham, will WWF sue WWE for killing an obviously rare and endangered giant spider? Uh, that'd be fucking <laughs> I think great. so. I think they need a new lawsuit. Do they? They need funding. They can sue for, for spiders? Sure. Sure. It's wildlife. Mm. Wow. Wildlife. Austin McLaggen, Push Fire Berry, Push Fire Berry edition. All right, get ready. So we have bone her, stone her, own her. That's one. Yeah. Then fuck, truck, cuck. <laughs> and then just, you know, push, fire, bury. Fire, push, fire, bury. Push, stone her, bone her, own her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And bury, <laughs> truck, own her, fuck, truck, cuck. Stone cup. her, <laughs> own her. Run over with a truck. Yeah. Uh, Amraj Molly, would you rather have Danny DeVito's body with Shrek's face or Shrek's body with Danny DeVito's face? Neither one are getting you laid. So this is not... Who would you rather have? I'd rather have Shrek's body with Danny DeVito's face. I'd rather yeah. have DeVito's body with Shrek's face. Yeah, but then you're like <laughs> Shrek's four face? feet tall. Yeah, then I don't have to catch it in my line of sight. You're four feet tall. I don't think oh, Shrek like personally? is... personally? Uh, Shrek's... No, no, DeVito's Shrek's body, body... you can hide. Yeah, but DeVito's body, you're four feet tall. I, yeah. I respectfully disagree. What do you mean? Well, no, DeVito's like, what, the size of a big duck, right? He's like this big? He's. I mean, come on. Maybe like a, that's like, like a normal duck. DeVito's wait, like duck size? Wait, I think I finally got one right. DeVito's about this long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nathan P. Ness. Uh, or no, this might just be Nathan P. I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> I think we have two. Wow. Uh, in an intergender wrestling match, uh, do you think it must be hard not to get an erection? Like, imagine going for a German suplex on Mandy Rose. How could you not? I mean, yeah. Uh, I would have full in those intergender matches. You, ke- oh, I guess yeah. it's the maybe that's why I don't do it. Well, you know how often. Daniel Bryan's testicles popped out, my penis would pop yeah. out. I wonder if they like dictate their dick to like the side of their leg, like you're not going anywhere. <laughs> that's what I have to do sure all the time, do, anyway. Yeah. Well, then if you get a bone, you're like, ah! I have to put mask <laughs> like it's lifting your leg up. You're like, I can't put my <laughs> leg down. <laughs> I have to super glue my dick to my leg every day. Super glue. Yeah. It's the only oh, thing that works. That's why I have so many bottles pee? of nail polish. I pee all over my leg. Oh, <laughs> it just yeah. runs down. Fair. <laughs> he has to change his left sock like three times a day. <laughs> he runs into the shower just to take a piss every day at work. Yeah. 
Where are you going? The shower? I have to piss. He has to put his like foot in the toilet. <laughs> That's the first thing I ask when I uh, have a new job at the interview. They're like, any questions? I'm like, do you guys have a shower? Yeah. You have a piss I got a piss. Sh- <laughs> you have a piss shower? <laughs> piss shower? Uh, oh, cool. You're into that yeah. too? What? what? And then uh, Kyle Foxton says, don't you... <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> All right, Kyle Foxton, don't you just hate when you're about to get a guy back? Sorry? I was telling Joe not to drown. I like the what's at the end. You're that too? What? What? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, sorry, Andrew, go. All right, Kyle Foxton says, don't you just hate it when you're about to get a guy back that almost re-breaks your neck, criticizes your parenting, and then attacks your wife, but then the ring ropes get in your way, causing you to give up. (laughs) Every time. It's It's the worst. Oh, it's the fucking worst. Uh, anyways, uh, make sure you subscribe to our podcast. Give us a five star review. Check out our website, what's wrong with wrestling.com. Like the show on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at wrong wrestling. Get a t shirt at pro wrestling tees.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. Hey, we just got some. So yeah. uh, you get some now. Yeah. Can't wait to show those all off at WrestleMania. Right. Yeah. And then uh, you can become a supporter of the show at patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. Yeah. Go check that out. Because we're right. doing a new bracket. Hot mic. Don't yes. forget. Hot mic on Friday. Hot mic. Right before SmackDown starts. Maybe uh, 10 minutes before. You download that thing. Hot mic. And we'll see you there. Yeah. Yep. Goodbye. And Bye. retweet. Retweet my video. Search for Spears. Just a troll.